The Super Bowl is this Sunday, and it will be Tom Brady's ninth appearance at the big game. So what has changed since his first championship back in 2002? Let's go to Eric Chemi in Atlanta, ahead of Sunday's showdown. Hey, Eric. That's right, Melissa. Sunday, it's coming up real fast. But think about 17 years ago, Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, the Patriots against the Rams. They've been here for 17 years. You know what hasn't existed that long? iPhones, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Gmail, Android, all these products that have defined our lives this century, this generation, they didn't exist, but Brady and Belichick, they're still here. Think about the price of milk 17 years ago, the price of gas, housing prices, the richest person, the richest company in the world, they're all totally different, and they're still here. We actually talked with Scott Hansen of the NFL Red Zone, the NFL Network, how social media and all this technology, the communications are changing the game for him and their sport. As Bill Belichick refers to social media as a you face, uh, I, I think it has changed things because it's a pipeline of information. You can watch it all on NFL Red Zone and then chat about it with someone in Vancouver, Canada on your Twitter or your Instagram. And it means more eyeballs uh, on our sport. So we know over 100 million people are going to watch this weekend, but so many more are going to be using all those technologies this weekend, this weekend that didn't exist 17 years ago. Back to you guys in the studio. Eric, thank you. Have fun. Eric Chemi in Atlanta for the Super Bowl. Okay, so that's nine years ago, Nine right? years. Nine years from now, what won't exist? Probably me. I mean, you know, when you get to my age, it's not a lot of time left. I mean, that's unfortunate, but probably true. Maybe truck drivers. You ever think about that? The uh -huh. old truck drivers going across country. These autonomous vehicles going to take over. But you know what doesn't change? What? The hard work and attention to detail, which is why Tom Brady, love him or hate him, I happen to love him, 17, is a stud. 17 years, by the way, I stand corrected. 17 years. Tom Brady's ninth appearance. Yeah, look, nothing short, uh, short of extraordinary for a guy that you know essentially faced the Rams back in the day, and those two franchises went in very different directions. Uh, I think, you know, bottom line is I think this is the Rams' turn, and I think it's, it's oh. certainly going to be. Wait, so that's your prediction? It's that time. Because that's that what time we're for doing. Predictions. That's Here what we we're are. doing. Yeah, Rams. Wow. Awesome. How do you hate a winner? You can't hate a winner. You got to go Patriots. I mean, the kids got the goods. No, I'm, not, I'm not saying you hate him. I'm just most people don't like the guy. I don't know why. You got to go for the Patriots. Jeff Mills. I've got a soft spot in my heart for Boston, so I'm going to go with the Patriots. My oldest daughter, Harper, was born in Boston. And remember, I'm a Philly guy. We sent them home crying last year, so I'll <laughs> give them this year. Patriots. Let me be crystal clear here. Yes. I'm not a Boston fan. I mean, it's a nice city. Yes. But I think they would respect the fact that, you know, I'm a Yankee fan. I don't like the Red Sox. Sure. Yeah. I don't sure. particularly like the Patriots. But I happen to respect excellence, and that's what the Patriots are. And I'm going to give you a final score there, Melms. You might want to oh, write this score down. also. Is this your box? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to show that on TV. Anyway, but what is 35, it? 35-20 we'll Pats.